where would you build it in the first place where would you build it down the middle of the river that's the border you're going to build a wall on the border it needs to be down the middle of the river so i say give donald trump an axe and a shovel and a pick and a hammer and some nails and put him out there and let him try to build a wall in the middle of the river because that's the border if Donald Trump went and flew the whole border just in Texas, you would realize it's just unfeasible. It's too rough a country out west when you get into Big Ben and all that area. I mean, it's it's mountain goat country. You, you're not going to find a fence company and build a fence out there. I don't think. I mean, it's it would be hard. A lot of people just assume uh, the wall would be built right here at the edge, and that's not true. There's uh, lots of people and communities that would be affected in a different way. There's about 200 residents on the south side of the levee that would be displaced if you built the wall right here on this levee. They'd be cut off from America uh, and be in a no man's land. This is my indigenous land. This is where all my ancestors have come from. Right there is where I was born and raised. The property extends on to the other side of the levee. I requested direct access. They denied it. By not having direct access to my property to, to see how things are on the other side, uh, I have to go 1,200 feet to the east or twice that that length to the west and now there's there's a gate there i have to put in a coat to get into it if they took the land to build this wall what is the benefit have we seen the benefit has it done anything to prevent the drug trafficking or the so-called undocumented chemistry 